sí. Le di la instrucción en el camerino, vamos a la pelea limpia, que ganemos sí. fuerte. Sí. Unpaid fights in his native Cuba. Going to work with the body shots and the offensive onslaught. The second one, I, I, when he comes out, I, I want to see a little bit more feints. Minnesota wanting to show up and show out, and in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You know, Henderson knows he can land if he throws it a lot. Very limited in his yeah. offense of the round. And Henderson is cut now over the left eye. Came along those ropes, Abner. Yeah, morale, I mean, he doesn't tell and he's just trying to impress and give a good fight, and he's doing that right. With an opportunity to change his life against David Morrell. An impressive one, and yeah. Henderson needs to stay off the ropes. That is not letting Henderson get off. Oh, but there's a dangerous early. Yeah, really picking his shots really good. He's keeping his poise and blocking some of those shots. Get off the ropes, and he is starting this part in the in the. Big the left upper yeah. on the inside of his own, and a right hand by Anderson. Cash and shoot, shoot, cash and shoot is what Anderson is trying to do. Yes. Judge 14 bouts in his uh, cut on the inside, right? Can push him back at a certain yeah. point, but uh, he's at least trying. They're really, really good. One of the reasons Morel is on the fast and fights back. Hands are low, gets caught with the right and the left. Well, we're leading on the ropes anymore because Morel is choosing a different type of strategy. To the body with the right hand, and Henderson does come back, but it's just in the more eye-catching shots, but Henderson illustrate the one-sided nature of what's unfolding in the ring as Morel again. Don't always tell the story, but the one-sided nature of the statistics behind it, right uppercut. And to the variety of punches that he's throwing, the, the setup, how he's moving. For well, it is interesting, wow. the variety of punches from Morel is what The, the interesting thing about Henderson is that when he uses... He's found something here in this round, Morrell, which is the jab. Morrell has done Henderson's there, and Henderson's still landing some counter punches. The 15-1-1 and one Calvin Henderson. And yet Henderson is still standing there along the ropes. Well, and that's of David Benavidez. And, of course, there is one undisputed... Wanting to entertain the fans, not only here at the Armory, but... to see just what fighters are capable of doing and David Morello. Here we are in the opening minute of round three in a fight. He is well at distance, but again, I think his best work is going to be when once in a while, but he does it instinctively, he hasn't in this fight yet. Openings, look for the openings. He's been down once in his career, he is getting tattooed. It's all Morrell. Great punches of variety, and Abner made the point that the jab left hand became a weapon along with the hook. The opening was there. There's a one-two that manages to split. There's the jab from... Good jab from Morel. Oh, just a matter of time, you got to take your... You know, Henderson was hoping that they and his camp were hoping... Calvin Henderson's a warrior. That he is. <laughs> For the right punches. See, there, there it is. Perfect look, yes. For a moment. That was enough to stop him at least for a second. But he finds himself corralled in the road. There's an effect of his face. Again, there's a beautiful. This is his, just the 27th round of his pro career. Double rifle left hand right through the guard. And now Morrell beginning to the lands and long distance left uppercut. Referee Bobon steps 7 and 0. And it will show that a lot of punches were landing. I yeah. mean, that was a tremendous how well he takes them as he uncorks this kind of offense. David Moore.